Well, you guys got another tech news video here for you. Windows Floor lets hackers access your PC over Wi-Fi. Microsoft released a patch on uh, June 2024, which was their Patch Tuesday patch for Windows 10 and Windows 11 to fix 51 security flaws, including the Wi-Fi vulnerability that enables remote code execution. This bug is a concern for public hotspot users. Although the exploit is unlikely, an attack doesn't require user authentication. Microsoft says that the hacker can exploit the vulnerability by just being near the target computer and sending a malicious network package with no authentication required. The security researchers who found the bug did not publicly disclose it before notifying Microsoft. As far as they could tell, hackers have not used the exploit in the wild as of yet. Redmond says exploitation is less likely because hackers must be within close range to execute the attack. But that means that if someone lives next door to you, they could quite easily exploit this if they wanted to, if they knew how. Now, this vulnerability exists in the driver itself. It doesn't matter how secure your network is uh, if you're connected via VPN or any of that stuff, because it's not going to matter if you're in a proximity to the attacker who knows how to uh, leverage this exploit, your device can be compromised. This is one of those vulnerabilities that is serious enough that Microsoft have released patches for operating systems that are no longer being supported, like Server 2008. They're all listed on this page here. I'll leave a link of that in the video description for you. But if you are running, say, Windows 7 uh, and also Windows 8 and 8.1, those vulnerabilities are not going to be patched, which means you are vulnerable. Now, the vulnerability has been tagged as CVE-2024-30080, and it carries a CVSS security score of 9.8 out of 10, which is pretty high. Now, Redmond Security have said that it can be exploited by an attacker sending special crafted malicious MSMQ packets to the MSMQ server. This could result in remote code execution on the server side. So it's not good. And Microsoft said that Windows uh, message querying service needs to be enabled for the system to be exploitable by the vulnerability and urge customers to check to see if there is any service running uh, named message query and TCP uh, port 1801 is listening on the machine. You can check that yourself. So basically, it's quite a worrying uh, type of issue that Microsoft have uh, found or run into here. And it's important that you update Windows immediately. Microsoft recommends you do that. Now, if you're one of these people that have your, um, say, Windows updates on manual, it's always advisable to now update something like this because it is quite a severe um, you know, update that needs to be carried out. And you can check this by checking any security sort of level website here. And uh, I'll leave some links in the video description so you can read about this. Uh, there's quite a bit of information out there. It's pretty nasty stuff. And uh, this is going to allow people to gain access to your computer via a Wi-Fi, which is not good. And uh, if someone finds out how to use this exploitation, uh, it could be someone who lives close to you or if you're really in a sort of cafe or some sort of cyber cafe where you're using a hotspot or something like that, that's where this vulnerability is going to be at its worst. Anyway, just a quick news update video for today. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. So make sure you've got all the latest Windows updates and that way you'll know you've been patched and you should be safe. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.